Hello friends, it is I, self-critical automaton. <clears throat> and I should have done my coughing before I started talking. Or indeed put my mic on. But such is life, we all make mistakes. And regardless, it is time to be playing Hollow Knight, a video game that I have been streaming for a bunch of time. I think this is the 16th stream, and they're about two hours each, so that adds up to like... 28 hours, counting the times I've not done stuff. Hi, Lisa! And hello to everyone else. I should probably start the game. I have so far beaten the final boss, which is the ordinary normal final boss. Um, discovered what I suspect is the real actual final boss, although it might not be. Can't get into that guy yet, so I went off to go do DLC things until I can go get that guy. And... Uh, so I've been doing the DLC stuff, which mostly involves training this little floating grubbling by feeding him ghosts. Which, as we all know, is vitally nutritious for any young grubble. Can I get up there? No. Wonderful, wonderful. My kin arrive and the time has come. The searing fire, it carries well the ritual's promise. This guy has vampire vibes, I think. Dance with me, my friend. The crowd awaits. Show them you are worthy of a starring role. Oh, this dude's a boss. to re-equip my boss fighting gear. He's gonna kick my- he's absolutely gonna beat me super easy. It's kind of funny how many bosses have that, uh, ground strike, then spikes go upwards attack. Something like five or six of the bosses I fought have had that so far. Anyway, it's fine if he kills me, I don't have my boss gear equipped. It's also not like it's the first time I've had my ass kicked. Do I have to have this equipped to activate the boss fight? That's a good question. Because my little grubbling companion is also... Uh is also equipped. Hmm. Anyway, uh, right. Boss things. Mark of Pride increases range. That one's good. I might just go with that. I could take the compass away, actually. Steady body is important. Quick slash is important. Uh, dash master is usually important. Although, less important in boss fights because the, the, the dark thing, the dark dash, doesn't recharge as fast. Uh, right. Do I want the thorns or do I want the grub? Let's go with grub song. Gives me the opportunity to blast away at the guy. Baba Gundala. You wish to see the master return with the child full of flame and he shall appear. Okay, so I have to have it equipped for the fight. That's irritating. Baba Gundala. What was if I dream nail him? When the flame burns bright inside one's mind, can heed the call, Klaus ran... Kin heed the call, cross lands and time. Try saying that with a swollen tongue and no teeth. Okay, as for real fucked off, he's not here. I feel like there must be something hidden in this place, it can't just be this. Oh, it's her, she's on the bench, that's nice. You don't see her out and about a lot because she's got an anxiety disorder. Uh, or the insectile equivalent thereof. Right, if I equip the Grim Child, I can get two slots. I really don't want to drop Quick Slash. Uh, I guess I'll go with Long Nail or... Yeah. If I can't have, if I can't have enough to have the uh, Mark of Pride. Can I talk to her? No. If 
feel like I'm super about to sneeze. Anyway, I get... <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> anyway, as usual, I will be quiet during boss fights because I have to focus on fighting the boss. Oh, this is different. Is that because I hit him? Like, if I wail on him at the start, he gets an extra big attack or something? I mean, I wouldn't put it past a boss to be like that. That dash slash and slash dash thing's really gonna really gonna keep tripping me up, I think. Absolutely bodied. It's fine. I'll get I'll get my measure of him sooner or later. Oops. Maybe there are some downsides to overusing that. Not gonna stop me though, whoops. Are we cool? Okay, we're cool. Maybe, oh hey, did he, he bows at the start of the fight. I wonder what happens if I bow back to him. I'm not sure how to dodge the leaping slashes. Get into bullet hell like games, like play some Toho. Buddy, give me spikes so I can heal. I really want to hit him when he's doing that. He looks so poppable. Like a balloon or perhaps some kind of delicious fruit. Which is what I've been referred to as. Oh, right. Can I bow back, bow back when he bows? Let's see. What do we got? Bow? Bow? That's the closest I can do. Okay, so he does an upwards flame attack when he's throwing the fireballs. That's good to know.
Oh, I should play Cuphead. I never finished that. his measure now, I just need to not uh, get psyched out. Also, Emission, is, uh, is the new Warcraft expansion any good? Because I've heard it's supposed to be kind of a return to form after years and years of terrible, terrible expansions made by awful people. Yeah, that's fair. I keep wanting to go back and play it again. <laughs> it was uh, it was my forever game for a long time. Insofar as I ever have one. I can't tell if he's actually like faster and more aggressive now. Because I didn't bow at the start. Because I hit him when he was bowing rather. It feels like he is, but that might just be me psyched out. tough. I've fought almost every boss in the game now and I definitely think he's in like the top top five toughness. But that's at least in part because I have to devote three of my notches to that or two of my notches to that uh, baby which I can't can't use for something more useful. the worst possible moment, but I really need to scratch my nose. There was a pause button. Ah, oh, I can scratch my nose. Fantastic. Oh, I needed that.
I wonder if the phases will just repeat until you eventually kill him in the interstitial bit where you knock him out of his body. Because if I can only really damage him in that phase and I only hit him once or twice, that's going to be really irritating. Oh, hi, Wixfriv. You've got the same colour as Acrylic Spatter, so I didn't realise you were you. I think I might sneeze again. Oh no, that'd be disastrous. Bow. There we go. Faster. I feel like I did good on that one. Attacks have insane damage potential if you think about it. Hit you on the way up, hit you on the way down, hit you with the fireballs. That was lucky. I lucked into an extra hit point there and then I lost it, so that's fine. you little shit this better be the last of you no <laughs> oh, i'm super gonna die again This is what's known in designer circles as a skill issue. I don't know for you as well.
I mean, he's definitely taking more than more hits than almost any other boss I've fought so far, I think. Maybe that's just an opportunity to get some free hits in and he has shares the same health pool as both a little spirit and as big him. Ouch. Oh, he can redirect that? He didn't previously. because otherwise I would never be able to beat him. Well, I would eventually. But he would be even more irritating with it. close. I miss managing to get one of his thorn attack animations happening right while I stand next to him, because that let me hit him like five or six times last time that happened, which was a while ago. main problem I think my main problem is that I do fine most of the time but if he hits me in one of his animations that's lined up to get a bunch of hits uh it like throws me and then I, I usually get hit by the next bunch of attacks as well um like the dash jump fireballs combo he does like if the dash hits me the jump probably hits me as well and if the jump hits me, the fireballs hit me. And then I'm set up to be hit by the next one as well. Like a little micro tilt. that one.
also a little bit hard to tell where the hitboxes are on the flames. I say as I get hit by a different attack several times. This is definitely the, one of the most tries it's taken on a boss so far. Significantly more than the final boss. Not that he was the final boss. Might take a break and go do something else somewhere else. About two hours ago, I ate an enormous bag of pizza-flavoured Doritos, and then my flatmate gave me some leftover pizza that they didn't want to eat. So all I can taste right now is pizza. All I can think is pizza. I'm roughly 40% pizza by volume at this stage. What does this have to do with fighting a Dracula? I don't know, but it does. It does have something to do with it. I feel like a boxer who's just had a heavy meal before a, f a prize fight, right? Like, sitting in the ring like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. You know what, he does have pizzazz. A stage performer of the old school, perfectly capable of giving the old razzle-dazzle. Which here means fire into me, which I don't like very much, thank you. Oh, I can't hit him when he's like that. Interesting. Well, that was a waste of two hit points that I can barely... I really can't afford to lose right now. Fight the ghost. He's got all my money in him. The knight does seem very childlike inherently because of his small stature and big wide innocent eyes. The same is true of his ghost, so I like to imagine that whenever he dies and his ghost comes out, his ghost just like off to the corner shop off to the corner shop to go get a a little packet of candy or a packet of crisps or a can of soda. Go get yourself something nice while I'm busy, kid.
The audience really like this move. I imagine because they're the ghosts that I had to go kill in order to charge up his com composing little guy. His inner buddy. Oh, it's his inner child. That's cute. If it wasn't for the airborne move, in fact, if it wasn't for the fireballs that he bursts into at the end of that air move, I would have beaten him, I think. That one's, I just really struggled to figure out how to deal with it. I think the ghosts like like little fireballs. That's their magic, right? So they're pleased to see it. Get to fuck you little Off my diodes, ghost boy. Bravo, my friend. Hear how the crowd adores you. They've not seen such a show in a long time. Look here how our child has grown, nourished and strengthened by the heat of our passionate dance. The two of you will feature in many tragedies and triumphs together, I'm sure. And so our great ritual nears its end. Will you continue to harvest the flame, even though you now surely see the path it illuminates for us? Our scarlet eyes will watch you keenly, friend. Go into the darkness. Harvest the last lingering embers of this kingdom, then return to me and we will complete our dance. So I guess that is implying that there is a a secret additional fight with him, I guess, once I have harvested the last embers. But I'm not sure what he means by that. I don't see any more... more oh, there are more ghosts. Okay, so there's one there. There's one there. I do need to go back over that way because I think I've missed something in this room. Uh, I say I think I've missed something in, this, in that room. I know I've missed something in that room because... Um... You know, we're at the we're at the end stage of the game. I've uncovered almost everything, but there is a little a little bit of stuff left to find, and I uh, I enjoy secret hunting passively as I play a game, but I can't stand having to desperately search out every last little nook and cranny I, uh, for like the last tiny little things that I want. That really gets on my nerves. So instead of doing that, I just looked up to see where a couple of things were. All right, so I'm going to go there. The easiest way to go there is probably Queen Station and then down. Ooh. And then I should try and finish the arena battle, I think. I think there's definitely something to find in the secret dung beetle nest as well. Or stag beetle, rather. But I don't think I can find that for a while. Oops, I should, uh... 
reset my badges a bit. Oh, he's upgraded again. Need the wayward compass. I'd also like... Hmm. I think I get rid of long nail for a minute so that I can have the uh, gathering swarm. And maybe sprint master if I can fit him. Aha, yeah, there we go. Because we're off adventuring, which means I want to go fast. I don't think I'm ever going to hit 12,000 Geo at this point. I suppose maybe if I do the arena battles a few times, I, I can... The... What's this guy? Was he always here? Worms pull bugs into their thrall till ages pass and kingdoms fall. Caps and shells may fall to dust, but Mr. Mushroom readjusts. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that would imply that... Well, actually, I don't know. Huh. We know that uh, some kind of ancient worm that we found was the origin of the, no of the notion of divinity, of kingliness. Because it was the mark of the worm that made the king a king. But what I don't know if, is if that worm itself was the first king. Um... And worms pull bugs into their thrall could go either way, really, conceptually. That could be read as meaning that the worm was the first king. And in making himself such, put all other bugs into his thrall. After all, whoever declares themselves king has to be king of something. Or, possibly, the very notion of this kind of, like, uh, divine royalty is itself something that they were, uh, you know, effectively a way that, uh, you know, the king, did the king take his divinity from the worm, or did the worm give it to him? with ulterior motives in mind, is what I'm getting at. Or are they the same creature, you know? It did look like something crawled out of the worm, so maybe it effectively hatched. Okay, new flavor of ghost. Big flavor of ghost, big damage, powerful ghost. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Oof. Hello, Ant Slayer. And also hello to everyone else who is watching. There's got to be a closer resting place. Maybe the one in the lower Mantis village? There might be a shorter walk, or up from Deep Nest, actually. Hmm, nearest Deep Nest one would be... Oh, if I start in the Mantis Village here, I can drop down into here and then go up through the Deep Nest, maybe? Possibly? Although that looks like one of the ones where that's not really viable. The belled ceilings where you can't get up and around easily. This is a long-ass walk to go fight a ghost every time. Like, I don't care that much about ghosts.
Yeah, I think I'll try the Mantis Village. I'm so close now to actually gaining every single... Uh, every single pin, every single emblem, talisman, whatever they're called. But that means that I know that all of the ones that I have left to find are going to be the really irritating ones that require you to do like every every part of a of a side challenge or a mini game or something. You know, if there's like seven left, or less than that, even how many do I even have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six six marks left in here for me left to fill. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Whoops, sorry. So Lord knows where I'm gonna find them. I suspect a couple of from like a couple of remaining optional bosses that I haven't found yet. And that the rest are gonna be from things like rescuing all the grubs. I'd be very surprised if rescuing all the grubs didn't result in one. Probably the best way since I don't think I can get up from below. I know I can have one for 12,000 Geo, that's why I'm uh, trying to save up my Geo. Gotta have a big box full of full of pennies that I'll eventually take to the uh, to the bank. This malevolent little bastard spirit keeps killing my buddies the mantises. This seems unacceptable to me. This seems like misbehaviour, but I cannot discipline a ghost child. There's nothing I can take from him that the, that the world already has not. Fifty out of each of these guys. Maybe I should just kill. Let's see, it's twelve thousand, right? So if I got a hundred each time, it would be a hundred and twenty of them I'd have to kill. So if I kill two hundred and forty of those guys, I'll have enough gear. Brutal and disastrous. You might say the same about my career. Now where is my ghost? He's supposed to be inside me. I wish to devour him. I wish to digest him in my ghost tummy. That's the bad ghost. That's not my ghost. Where's my ghost? I could hear him a minute ago. There we go. Ghost lunch. deeper voice than the previous ghosts I had to beat. Is he a different type or is he just not using his the attack he was using previously? Wowzers! That's bullshit! <laughs> I 
better have like six hit points, I swear to god. I hate him, I hate him so much, he needs to die. Die, 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 die. Bad ghost. Go back to being dead. Focus this one takes so that he doesn't fucking slaughter me. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I do agree that it feels bad to, to fight the mushrooms. I generally try not to kill them, but uh, they do they do pop kind of satisfyingly. And they are between me and my goal. Which tragically means that we must fight and die. Because that's how conflict works. I haven't explored down here. So I haven't re-visited this zone. Almost every zone I've, I've been to a few times now. But uh, the deep nest I never went back to. Apart from to talk to like one specific NPC a couple times. Whoa. That's centipedes, baby. And also spiders sometimes. I'm being a bit quieter than usual today because I've somehow managed to hurt my tongue. Oh, well, there's nothing, there's no way here. Ugh. I really hate the centipede rooms. A fact that you can hear me say in real life too, sometimes. my tongue really badly and yet I'm pretty sure I didn't. I don't remember doing it. It's so weird. Right, okay. I want to go left. I could go up and down and around. No, it's probably a bit easier to go down first actually. Yep. Let's do that. Let's go down. Something, something. Joke about going down. I don't know. I'm too tired and tongue bitten to make jokes today. possibly be the right route, can it? This place is the worst. There we go. Dunk me in the soup and call me Finnish. Okay, so if we go left and then up and then along and then up again. I should be able to find something I need. And then there's a ghost on the far side, so that should be good. Excuse yourself, you heard what I said. Oh. That is spikes. That is the writhing, crawling swarm of my ancestors, and I must not touch it. Lest I return to the primordial gloop from which we were all rendered. Although that's not the case for the Hollow Knight, or the, the knight, the protagonist. The protagonite? The protagonitist. 
because his whole deal we now know is that he's some kind of a weird construct made of dark evil shadow stuff. For what purposes we do not know. Oh god damn it. It can be kind of hard to tell the uh, spikes apart from the background on the foreground. Hmm, okay. Next room across this way. These guys are rough. Just rough and tumble, deep, dark lads. I don't like this place. For real, die, 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 die and explode. Turn into a corpse at my discretion. Aha, now how do I get up there? Well, not like that. Aha. Ah, oh, there was a grub here. And I missed this completely, I think. Although it's hard to judge, really. Uh, that's the worst possible time to be doing that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Desperately making time out hand gestures in the middle of a fist fight. So that you can check Google Maps. There's definitely, there's got to be something here. I remember finding this before and not finding what the secret was, but there has to be one. Oh, oh, I just didn't hit the wall enough times. That's dumb. I can't pull, I think that's the only time I've ever made that mistake in this whole game. Honestly, I don't know why you watch me. Brain, what's brain? All I have is a is that ball? Why is there ball? I'm gonna go down here instead of dealing with ball. <laughs> that was dumb. Alright, ball, what's up? Oh, did I fight this guy? Maybe I did find my way in here. That super looks like a guy I might have killed. Hera. I think Hera was the... The dreamer who was who was interred in this location. Now see that time it wasn't even my fault. That was my busted ass controller's fault. That's definitely the closest. Actually, it might be closer to go from the distant village, but it's a bit late for that now. Because I think there's a, I think there's a chair hidden inside in one of the houses in the distant village. simply declined to be involved with you, sir.
it only takes two power hits to kill him. Good to know. I'm genuinely unsure if I came through this place previously, and if so... Did I get everything it had? Did I miss some stuff? Okay, there must be a way across there that I'm not understanding. Let's go fight my ghost first so that I don't lose all my lovely treasure. Which I, again, do need all of. Aha! I think I was here before and I simply couldn't get across this gap. Weaver Song. Okay. Is that a... Ooh, hello. Silken charm containing a song of farewell left by the weavers who departed Hallownest for their old home. Okay, so there are other places in the world then. For all the messages from the king said there was nothing but roiling chaos beyond the boundaries of the kingdom. Well, that's one of the ones I was missing, so that's, what, five to go? But that does mean that what I thought I would find here is presumably somewhere else. Maybe I should just look it up again. There must be a way! There must be a way! Aha! Oh, fuck off! <laughs> this place is Booby Trap Central and I'm the booby. A rancid egg that I don't need. Okay, I see how- it oh! Hi! Huh. That sure was that guy. The hell was he doing? Is he alive? Is there a boss fight with him somewhere else that I could go find? Oh yeah, I'm here. To, I'm here to eat ghosts for the little guy, but I'm uh, also trying to find something else, and I am struggling. I think I am just going to look up where it is because this is dumb. But I'm going to go eat this ghost first because I know where the ghost I want to eat is. And where you know when uh, when you know where your next lunch is coming from. You're better off simply eating it. As I believe Sun Tzu once said. Oh, that's well, uh, well, goodbye. <laughs> in the sauce again. Ugh. Remove me from the soup, I'm unfinished. <sighs> it's been ages since I saw the midwife. My dear, aren't you so kind, checking in again on my well-being? I'm ever the caring host, I can't understand why more don't visit in your manor. Now you won't mind when I take just a little bite. A leg, perhaps? Huh. I've never successfully dream nailed her, I don't think. And she leaves if I whack her, so... I think I got some information out of her previously. I also think I might be completely misremembering, but I vaguely feel like I found her ass end somewhere else poking through a wall.
Smile. I I missed. God damn. Oh, he's right. This is a pain in the ass to traverse. I guess you could call that a pain in the traverse. <laughs> there you go. First pun of the stream. That's how you can tell I'm really not on top form. There's only been one so far. It's barely even a pun, now that I think about it. I think one of these has a bet. Hi. I, you look kind of like a boss. I want to rest on a bench before I talk to you. I mean, he definitely had the... the ghost flames. So he will have to excuse me if I do not. Oh, there was, there was definitely a bench hidden in here previously. But that was in like the weird upstairsy bit where I had to fight a bunch of guys. Aha, here we go. There we are. Brilliant. I'm a genius. I'm the greatest player of games who ever lived. Alright, I'm ready now. What's up, ghost buddy? Babala, Geno. Ah, you came. The red flame I've gathered from this dead kingdom. You would claim it for our master, for his final act. The ritual plays itself once more. We are like the notes in an old song. You and me. Endless repeating songs of sacrifice and servitude for the ritual, for the troop, for the master. Even this child was born to invisible chains. So we serve, and thus it has ever been, yes? Take the flame, then. It's why you came here. Oh, cool. Thanks, thanks, bud. Thanks for not fighting me. It is done, and yet... It is not merely by fortune that we meet here, in the darkest, furthest reaches of the world, where my master's scarlet eyes cannot see us. A song that never ends is no song at all. You take part in the ritual, yet I sense you have no master. Is it so? Perhaps together we can banish that livid flame and let this dead kingdom rest in peace. If you wish to silence the endless song, meet me where it began. But if you return to the master and complete the ritual, as long as you do it without regret. I will bear you no hatred. That sounds like a storyline, my dude. I've missed most of the game's storylines because it does the Dark Souls thing of requiring you to be in the right place at the right time, and I simply have failed to do so. But I don't know, is... Is he talking about just the ghost stuff? Or is he talking about... Or is he talking about the, the, the main arc of the game? The endless, the endless cycle of these poor bastards getting lured back to the kingdom so that they can be shut up in the egg to prolong the cycle over and over again, a la Dark Souls, as I went on, went off on one about previously. Ah, okay. I have beaten the 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 normal final boss just for but just for the record, Anslayer. So I know a bit about what's going on. Okay, in that case, he probably means. Up here. Joni's Repose? Around there? Somewhere? It's around here somewhere. In fact, I think it might be this room specifically. Where I inadvertently activated the ghost quest line before the end of the game. Since I usually only like to activate DLC stuff once I've done the vanilla game. Does he maybe not need me to get the flames if he wants me to go talk to him? Anyway, so it sounds like... It sounds like one of the endings involves me collecting the rest of these flames and then going and handing them in, which will result in another boss fight with the guy, which perpetuates the cycle. Or I can break the cycle by going to... the Howling Cliffs. What's the one on the left there? Oh, that's Green Path. Okay, in that case... Stagnus is probably the closest. I 
think I am going to attempt to break the cycle because I believe that the true and the true beneficial endings of things involves doing that. I think it's generally a good idea to break cycles. After all, this game is just Dark Souls again, and it does borrow all of the themes of Dark Souls, including the big one, that Stasis is the great enemy. Can I actually get through that way usefully? Oh, I can, yes. Will either of the options available to me lock me out of collecting every charm? Because I have every intention of collecting every charm. But also I do want to fight all the bosses. Hmm. I should probably go down. I wish I could remember. I just want to know what was in Journey's Repose. I've already forgotten. Ah, okay, so basically you get a charm either way, and there's just two options. Okie dokie. Huh. I think Joni's Repose might be full of weird wizard shit. These are the lifeblood things. This must be connected to that, like, lifeblood side plot thing. I know there's a door I need to open for which I need a ton of lifeblood points. Huh, wait, really? That's odd. Even corpses usually have dreams that I can nail. Maybe I need to come back here with something I get from the the lifeblood the blue lifeblood room. saw this already. Oh yeah, this is one of those tutorial things. These blasted plains stretch never-ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse this void must pay the toll and relinquish the, previous, the precious mind this kingdom grants. Yeah, so... I had forgotten about that element, that the sentience of the bugs is supposedly somehow mystically connected to the existence of the kingdom of Hallownest. So perhaps... Perhaps the, like, royalty granted to the first king by the Pale Worm itself just simply is the gift of sentience. So you followed me here to where the ritual began. You would join me in breaking it then? It is painful to defy the master, but our harvest, it profanes this dark, quiet kingdom. This once I would see the ritual fail. Hmm, now let us destroy the anchor and banish the master. Never shall he return here again. Something tells me I may have just cheated myself of a fun boss fight. Oh well, what's done is done. Where'd my little buddy go? Did I get something instead? Maybe it will be left behind in the main the main zone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he occupied this slot. Okay. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Right. 
Honestly, not sure what to make of that. Did I fight this ghost? I think I did. Yeah, he'd be there for me to fight otherwise. Still need to fight so many more ghosts. Or refight bosses, I suppose, is the other option. Oh, did I go down here before? Oh, wait, this is this where the tutorial zone is? Yeah, it is. Whoops, oh well. I do love it when gamers let you go back into the tutorial zone. Well, they give you a tutorial in a zone hived off from the rest of the world and then allow you to rediscover where that was all along. Anyway, unfortunately, I don't seem to be espousing any of the great insight and interesting commentary I came up with last stream. I, for this, I am going to blame my sleepy brain and my heavily bitten tongue. Which is not making this any easier, I can tell you that much. Wait, hang on, shit, this means I didn't pay the 12,000 for the thing. Oh, is that gone forever? Did I screw up? Fragile heart. Increases the health of the bearer, allowing them to take more damage. The charm is fragile and will break if the bearer is killed. Hmm. If I didn't... But I didn't pay the... I didn't have time to pay the 12,000 for the secret. The secret 12,000 thing. Does that mean I can't get it? If I can't get it, does that mean I can't get all of the, the charms? Oh, hey, there's a guy. What's up, my dude? Hello, hello. I'm new around these parts, so it's marvellous to see a friendly face in such a sad town. The old bug over there was very welcoming, but I find the place a little melancholy, what with the wind and the darkness and their sense of decline. I was hoping my music would go some way to liven up the place. And now, you now you've arrived with the wonderful, charming aura about you. The whole town feels brighter for it. Before you hurry on your business, I have a small gift to commemorate a wonderful friendship. No use for it myself, but I believe it would look fancy on you. Please enjoy it, and let's hope to see much more of one another about town. Aha, huh, okay. Maybe the fragile bauble is what the is what the, the mantis woman would have given me, or whatever she was. And this one is this. The Carefree Melody. It contains a song of protection that may defend the bearer from damage. Hmm. I wonder what the alternative charm you get is. Presumably, you do have to fight a final boss. The boss of final time, rather. My dear friend, are you enjoying my music? It's as upbeat a tune as I know, but I must admit, it, uh, even it falls a little on the saddest side. Please know I pay, play it with joy. Being in this town, beside such a good company as yourself, I feel remarkably, refreshingly content. Oh, wait, hang on. Is he the guy? Is he the... Was he the other servant? The servant of the master? Is, is he now freed from whatever sort of ghost entrancement he was trapped in, traveling from city to city, completing their weird ritual? He's finally free to pursue his, his life as he wishes? Why did I choose to travel here, and how far must I have come to forget the origin entirely? Aha! Yes, he is! I'm clever! Hmm...
Right, but that leaves four left in the entire world. I suppose I don't need 12,000 money anymore, which means I once again don't have any use for money. So I could uh, unequip my, my money grabbing tool. I am gonna go talk to the grub granddad though. Looks like, looks like one? I've missed one somewhere in the entire world. Let's see, I killed the only banker in the kingdom, so all of this money is going to go to waste if I die. <laughs> oh, hello, what's this? Ah, oh, pale ore. Oh, fantastic. That might be enough that I can upgrade my sword again. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Okay, there is... No, there's two. There's two more grubs left for me to find in the entire world. <laughs> I will probably figure out where they are off stream and then go get them next stream. Because I don't feel like looking at a map and counting and so on. Uh, and travelling everywhere to only discover that I have in fact already found that one. Oh, there was that weird key, actually, that I need, which I did look up the location for previously and could not find today, despite knowing where it was, supposedly. So I think after I go see if I can upgrade my sword, I'm going to go get... Ouch. I'm going to go get that from wherever it was. An easy way. The easy way to get the grubs is inside the Tower of Love. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, I want to get in there anyway because uh, it sounds fun. Wait, where am I going? I've just remembered where the... Uh... I need I need to go to the, the kingdom, not, uh, not faff around out here. Only there will I find the guy who can make my sword bigger. You see, he has these, these these wonderful bottles of little pills. And sells them on the internet. On the web! God damn it! I could have said he sells... He, I, could, I could have said he sells them on the web. Because they're all insects and bugs and arachnidae and stuff. Oh well. A missed opportunity. How's it hanging, beetle buddy? Right, let's go. Oh hey, I found- no, I found- I found what was up there previously. Last stream I found what was hidden up there. Right, where- where am I actually going? I'm going... I never did figure out what was going on in the pleasure house, actually. Maybe I should go back there. I'm getting distracted. Why did I come here? Oh yeah, the, uh, the nail smith. That's right, folks, it's back to the nail salon. To get our nail did once again. What was in here? Did I find this person before? Could it be you returned at last? No, no. Pardon me, for a moment I mistook a certain quality about you. You seemed almost regal. Silly, I know. It's clear you're not of high birth, wandering around all dirty and tattered. Isn't life just wonderful? So I guess this guy's worth waiting for someone. No doubt this one will meet its demise at the nails of the city's guard. I'll outlive you too, little grub, as I did all the others. What does that mean? Oh, 
I suppose I could go talk to the guy who gives me money for things as well, since he is here. But again, I don't need the money anymore, because the only thing I could think to buy... I cleverly slaughtered. Well, I didn't slaughter anyone, actually, now that I think about it. I cleverly bypassed slaughtering the master of, of its owner. And thereby prevented myself from having a ghoul boss fight, but that's fine. That's fine. I don't care. I'm not seething or anything. Oh, hang on, there's a shortcut if I go up here, I think. I can just, like, Dragon Ball Z my way across. Hey, man. What's up? Ah, ah you've returned. I see you have some pale ore. Blah, blah, blah. Hell yes. I think this is probably the final upgrade. Your nail is as strong as it could ever be. In only your weapon have I seen such potential. Finally, I behold the majesty of a pure nail. To think this moment has come upon me so soon. I must step outside a moment. Oh, he's gonna die, isn't he? Having, having reached the pinnacle of his craft. You've done it. You've unleashed your true potential. Which means it's all down here from all downhill from here, buddy. With a pure nail forged, my work in this lifetime comes to an end. My only remaining desire is to see and feel the nail strike true. I beg you, cut me down. As my final moment in life, I want to taste this blade's exquisite edge. After all this time and all this toil, haven't I earned it? Ah, oh, ah, oh, bud, come on. I bet different things occur, ultimately, if I kill him and if I don't kill him. Wow, really? No thoughts. Head empty. What happens if I kill him with a spell? <laughs> that, would be the, that would be the one really evil end to this mission, would be to blast him with my magic spells until he dies. <laughs> so that he never gets to feel the exquisite edge. Well, anyway, um, bye. That was kind of anticlimactic, all things considered. Well, that's all for him, I suppose. You're not going to tell me that I've, I've locked myself out of some other amazing thing having done this, right? You wouldn't screw me like that? What? <gasps> no, what? Really? What did I screw myself out of? That feels unfair. He said he wanted it. I feel like if- I feel like if there's a way to- What? Really? Aw, oh, man. I feel like if that's the case, it shouldn't- he- when you dream nail him, it should give you some kind of a clue. Ah, oh, beans. Works for <laughs> I trusted you! How could you screw me like this? Oh, okay. You're saying that there are no boss fights or rewards for me to have screwed myself out of. That's what you're saying? Because in that case, friendship restored with works for of. Whoops. Oh, I fell down the stinky hole. Oh, you wanted me to blast him with spells. Oh, okay. Now, see, this is this is all why communication is so important, because it can be very easy to become confused. Right, okay, so with that done, 
And the red DLC done. What does that leave? I definitely need to get enough magic dream points to come back here. Oh, really? What happens in the alternate ending? Because I would have liked to have done a cute alternate ending if there was one. For all that for all that, this ending feels very fitting to the tone of this story. Oh, the Colosseum of Fools. That's where I should go. I should go finish the final battle. And then start fighting ghosts. really are tough, huh? And yet they're only worth 50. We're just spoiling another character. Well, it depends on whether it's a character I've already, already met. Yeah, I have all three nail arts. I'm like 90% complete, like 90% of like full completion on the game, so I uh, I have most of the things. Oh, that's cute. If you just leave and don't do it. I wonder what he says. I wonder what he tells you. I shall look it up on the internet later so that it's information which can live in my mind. <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> one dream point. Actually, can I dream nail ordinary enemies? Oh, I can. Looks like it just knocks them back. Your smell. <laughs> you smell poor. Cute. Then again, there are definitely wealthy people who are like that. So, off to the arena, which I will either succeed or fail on today, and then that will be time to go to bed, I think. I can't tell if the arena is, like, supposed to look like part of a, of, a, of one of the great worms, like the one that used to be the king. Hey, Zoat. I've heard all of this previously, I think. Well, I'm not sure wh when I get to fight him. Maybe he shows up in the, uh, in the arena battle. I can't remember if I fought him because there was like a there was like a two month gap in 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 working my way through this stream. Maybe if I, uh, maybe if I redo the first trial, he'll show up in that. Uh, in that, because you can repeat the trials if you want. Man, that extra damage is really telling. Thank you. 
Anyway, it's time for focus mode, as I'm sure you can tell. So I'm going to be a little bit quiet while I slaughter these poor bastards with the greatest of ease. Quick nose scratching break and we're back to it. Oh, I hate these hop-in things. Oh, I should have switched up my I should have switched up my pins before I came in here. I keep I keep I keep leaving my general adventuring pins on while exploring while while doing combat challenges. That was close. Oh shit, wizards. I haven't fought these in ages. Oh, they ain't so tough. Oh, wait, hang on, they dropped slimes, okay. silly with it now. This is what the jellyfish box could do, wasn't it? At least the platforms are to my benefit a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to try the basic challenge one time just to see if Zote shows up in it. And if he doesn't, then I'll give the final challenge one extra try. And then I will go to bed. Got a top up on white fluids. Got to hang out with a white, uh, with a big husky man in a sauna. Get some of the white fluids that keep flowing there. I'm sure this doesn't have any kind of uh, 
secondary meaning or double entendre nature to it. I think you get paid if you repeat the challenges. You don't get the main reward again, obviously. But you do get paid. Again, I think. I'm not exactly trying very hard. <laughs> Perhaps I should. How Hammer Brothers. I like it when problems solve themselves. What was that you were saying about hubris? It's just like the second boss in the game. <laughs> like the first optional boss or mini boss or whatever. We all good? Are you gonna make me fight Zote now? Oh no, you're gonna make me fight more of these unimpressive lads. Oh no! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay. Well, that's what happens when you get overconfident. Oh boy. Right, well, we're pushing two hours, so I think I'm going to call it a night. Join me again in a few days if you would like to see more of this. Hey man. You, you cool if I come sit, home, sit over here with you? Yeah? Getting nice and warm, nice and comfy. All right, let's go. I've got work to do. Oh, hang on. I should change up my things. And then that will be a lovely, lovely surprise for when I when I start playing next time. I'll be all ready to go. All right, I've got two notches. What's going to be the most useful? Actually, Carefree Mel Melody, I haven't tried. Maybe I should. Hmm. I often don't have time to charge my nail arts. Passive healing over time always seems like a good idea, but it's never actually worked out for me. I might just go for one of these and then also this one, just to see how we do. 
Or I could try combining long nail with the other thing and seeing if they stack, getting very, very long range attacks. Yes, I think that will do nicely. So, that's going to be it from me for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Uh, I always end up saying this at the end of things, but it's kind of pointless, I guess. But yeah, so I have a Discord where you can hear about streams that are going to happen. And I have a YouTube channel where I do in-depth Let's Plays. And thank you to my Patreon patrons, and thank you to my Kofi donators. That's all from me for today. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Kofi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.